The film starts in October 1972, where a rugby team is going to another country by plane for a match. Many of them were going out of the country for the first time. Some players' family members also came with them. The plane took off and soon reached the snowy areas but suddenly their plane started shaking violently. Suddenly, a snowstorm ensues, causing the plane to descend uncontrollably, but still, the pilots tried to remove the plane from such a terrible storm but the plane was not coming under control so all the things inside start falling here and there. Suddenly, the plane collides with a huge stone. Due to it, it broke into two parts. In a while, the front part of the plane also collides with the snow. Due to this, all people fall forward violently and the luggage also scattered and because of this incident, many people die on the spot. After a while, those who were safe take out the stuck people. It was a stressful environment. There was blood everywhere but everyone take care of each other courageously. Two boys now open the cabin and approach the pilot, who is also in a distressed state, and the next moment, he also dies. As soon as it gets dark, the temperature also starts falling rapidly. Because they were in a bad condition due to the cold so they cover the big hole of the plane with luggage and dead bodies. They go inside and hide to save themselves from the cold. Everyone was sad and in trauma due to this incident. Some were screaming due to fear but the rest somehow supported them. The next morning, when he woke up, he saw that four to five more people had died due to the cold. By now the storm had also stopped so they came out. They couldn't see anything except for the snow so far also, this place was also downward. They didn't know how long they will be stuck there so they started arranging to stay alive. They checked all the bags, luggage and collected food and necessary things from there. After finishing all her work, they sat down at the same place. They were given food, which they ate. But at the same time, they were worried that they have a little food who knows how long will we have to use. Now suddenly a plane passes from there and a hope arose in these people. That's why they start screaming loudly so that the plane will stop hearing their voice but it didn't help because the plane was far away so it just left from there. Now on the third day, a girl, Nando, regained consciousness. Nando's condition was very bad. His face was also ruined but still, he goes to his sister. His sister's condition was also very bad. When Nando asks about his mom and dad, he learns that they have sadly passed away. So the siblings become sad. Now they needed water to drink so they melt the ice and make its water. They drink and survive. Also, they made an X mark outside the bag so that whoever passes through here, sees this mark. So they understand that people are stuck here who need help. Now the next day, another plane came but even that could not help them because it was far away. They understood that the government does not know where we are right now. That's why the government is sending the planes to different places instead of sending them here. Because they do not know the exact location of these people. Now they remembered that there were some batteries in the last part of the plane. So it is possible that with their help, we could play the radio of the plane that is broken at the moment. So now because of this, they wanted to find that part. As they went up a little, they saw that the place where their plane is destroyed is not visible from here. So this is the reason that no plane has seen us. It is obvious that no one can help us for this reason. Now the snow on top began to slip so they decided to return. As the days pass, a week goes by, and they eventually run out of all their food. In this area, there were no animals and no trees and plants which they can eat and survive. That's why they eat the fungus stuck on the stones and survive but its taste was also very bitter. Because of hunger, Nando says if I had to eat the flesh of the dead, I would eat that too. Some people agreed with him, while some people argued with each other about this. With time, their hunger increased so much that they started eating their shoes, their laces, even cigarettes. The next morning, Nando saw that his sister had also died. He was sad that after parents today his sister also died. Seeing this, a boy became sad. He writes a letter to his parents. Now it's been 21 days, some of them were going crazy due to hunger. They were ready to eat anything. That's why the rest of them allowed them to eat the dead. Then some people went out and start eating the flesh of the dead cutting it with glass and now only five people were there who did not want to eat the flesh of the dead because they believed that we will never become cannibals in fact, they would rather die. After a while, they found a bag in the snow. When they checked inside, they found a radio. They used their brains to make an antenna there. And now when they heard the radio, they found out that the government had sent more than 60 planes to find them but none of them succeeded in finding them. So the government thought that the plane was destroyed and all those people died. Hearing this, they become sad and were losing their courage. Now the remaining five people have to survive by eating flesh because after hearing this, now they knew that no one was going to come to save us. After a while, three boys left again to find the end part of the plane. 
After a while, they found a broken and a few corpses also. Now because it was night while walking so they try to sleep but they can't sleep because there is a snowstorm all night. The next morning, when they woke up, they were completely covered with snow. Now they were alive, but the condition was very bad. One of them couldn't see while the rest had become very weak. So now those four people came back down while sitting on debris. Seeing this terrible sight, the boy who had not eaten meat yet, also eats meat quietly. The storms were also coming continuously but they sit inside the plane and start talking to each other so that they can have a good time. During their conversation, there was a heavy snowstorm. A lot of snow got inside their plane. The whole plane is covered with snow. The individuals outside begin digging through the snow, pulling out their companions. In a short while, all the people came up but a poor woman who was buried very low dies there. Now they hear a dangerous voice understanding that once again a heavy snowstorm is going to come. Once again a terrible storm takes them in its embrace. This time also a lot of people are buried in the snow and die. A boy named Numa gets angry. He was getting out of control and starts breaking the windows of the plane. This was useless but a piece of glass gets into his feet and legs but still he did not stop and didn't lose the courage. He kept breaking the snow like this. Then on the 20th day, he made a hole there through which the remaining people come out. After coming out they met each other. In this happiness that thank God we survived. Numa sees that the place where the cut was on my foot, I am not in pain there because his foot was completely numb from the cold. Slowly the weather changed and they were successful in removing the snow from the whole plane. Now once again they decide to send some people for help. But those who first had gone to the mountain, some of them were still in a bad condition. The friend's lungs were filled with water. He was having trouble breathing so everyone together gave him CPR. But there was no use and he also died. The letter he had written for his parents, he also kept it carefully. On the 36th day, as the weather opened, Numa and his companion wore a lot of clothes and left for help but in the middle of the road, Numa falls because his foot was hurting a lot. When the rest went and checked, they saw that the wound on his foot has become deep. That's why they decided to take Numa back but he replied, no friends, you guys go ahead, I will go back myself. He somehow came back but his condition was so bad, he was so tired that he fainted as he came back. While those people who were moving forward to help, they become happy to see that the last part of the plane in front which they had finally found. As they saw that part of the plane, they also called their other companions here. They collected all the stuff here. There were a lot of clean clothes, food, and a lot of chocolates. They also get those batteries here, which they put in the plane and try to send signals through the radio but there was no answer because the radio was broke which they thought was fine. When they realized that the radio was broken, they got tired and sat there. Numa's wound was also increasing day by day which had spread all over his body. Numa understands seeing his condition that I don't have much time, I will die soon. That's why he stopped eating, so that his companions could eat his part of food and could survive. This time, they got a lot of waterproof cloth from the back of the plane, so they somehow made a big sleeping bag by joining it, in which they could sleep easily. Then they heard the news on the small radio that although they have been stuck here for 58 days, but the Air Force is still sending a last plane to find them with the hope that if they are alive, the Air Force will get them. Hearing this, some people said that we have to go up for help. Now Numa says to them in a sad voice, listen to me friends, if I die, then eat me because if any of you survive, then my death and the death of our other companions will not be wasted. He died saying this. He had a note in his hand, on which it was written, friends, I have become immortal after dying for you, meaning I am still alive after dying. Hearing these words, everyone was sad but at the same time, courage was also born in them. Some of their companions leave again for help and now they finally reach the top of the mountain. They were surprised to see that there is still a long journey ahead. That's why they sit here and start thinking. They also thought that we go back but because they did not want to give up their courage they decided to go ahead anyway. Now their hard work worked because after walking for a while, they also get a clean river of water. From which they drink a lot of water and quench their thirst. Then suddenly they saw a man riding a horse at a distance. Seeing him, they go crazy with joy. They were screaming for help but the man could not understand them that's why he throws the paper and pen towards them. They wrote their whole story and asked him for help that man immediately ran away with the paper. He comes to the city and gives it to the officers. Then the rescue team of the Air Force was immediately informed about this. So that they can go to their help. Now that man again comes to Nando and his friend. He took them to his house and feeds them a lot. In a while, the whole area was filled with reporters who asked them a lot of questions. Now their companions who were stuck in the snowy mountains also hear this news through the radio. When they found out that people are being sent here to help us. 
they washed their hands and packed all their stuff so that they can leave. Now finally, 71 helicopters came here through Nando and his friend to save the survivors. Seeing the helicopters, everyone gets up with joy and in this way, the remaining 16 people were saved immediately. Then they are brought to the city soon where their families were also impatiently waiting for them. Now all of them become happy to meet each other. After it they were taken to the hospital. Here thousands of people welcomed them like heroes. Because they did not lose their courage even at the time of so much trouble. So because of their bravery, they came out of there. That night they did not sleep apart from each other, they were together because the shock of that incident was very deep in them. They were not able to come out of it and they were happy that we tried a little and we were saved. They stood firm that they had to live. Because of this, the difficult time also lost in front of them. Here concludes this story.